Do you feel like someone purposely removed Mo 3's gun out of his car? Yeah, I do. Something will add up. Was there a gun in the car? He kept it on me. I believe he ran out of time. All right, so look, man. Now, a few days ago, I made a video about uh, Mo 3, more so about his death. And I broke down how I believe the people that was at the Mo 3, they was already shooting at the car before Mo 3 got out of the car. You know, there's a lot of questions that be going around. Why did Mo 3 get out of the car? Why didn't he keep driving? And I had that question as well, and I was determined to find out. And after listening to a bunch of interviews, reading through a bunch of news articles, everything started to line up with the fact that once Mo3 came out of that tunnel and got on the freeway, that car, the black Camaro, it sped up alongside Mo3, started shooting at Mo3, and that's when Mo3 randomly uh, pulled over another lane and stopped his car. So the reason Mo3 looking crazy as hell to us is because we don't have audio on this video. If we did, we would be hearing gunshots letting off at Mo3's car. Hence the reason why he stopped the car. One of those interviews, the guy Big B said that uh, they shot out his tire. So again, he was left with no choice but to get out of the car and try to defend himself. And once he couldn't get to that gun, hey, he had no choice but to run. What you want him to do, just stand there, slap box the bullets? He did what everybody in that situation would do, run. Now me, I would've been up out of there. Soon as I hopped up out of that car, I'm gone. Boy, they wouldn't count me. But see, Mo3, you know he a gang gang in evil twin. So he would rather die standing for what he believed in than running away like I would've done. So instead of running as soon as he got out of the car, when he actually had a head start on the uh, on the suspects, he decided to waste time and walk around the car to try to have a gun fight with him. And this ultimately would uh, probably cost him his life. That split second right there. I know y'all might not think as much, but it's a big difference between Mo3 popping out of his car and taking off versus him having to crawl on the ground while the person already running up, get up off of the ground, and then start trying to run. You get what I'm saying? Mo3 could have been up out of there if he would have never tried to have a gun fight with him. Is basically what I'm saying. But anywho, I kind of debunked that theory because people was thinking uh, Mo3 just got spooked out and hopped out of his car and tried to run away. Or not even that. They just thought Mo3 was stupid and hopped out of his car because he wanted to have a gun fight. But in all actuality, he hopped out of the car because he got shot up. That's why they pulled in front of him and hopped out of the car because they already shot up his car. But anywho, I actually uh, found some news articles that uh, supported this theory of mine. This is from the US Sun. Mo3 was driving on Interstate East, correction, 35 East, close to the Dallas Zoo on November 11th, when a car pulled alongside of and someone inside opened fire. Here's another report. Sources told news outlets that Mo3 was driving on a busy freeway when a car pulled up next to him and allegedly sprayed his vehicle with bullets. So you see all of this is starting to line up. They drove up beside Mo3, started shooting, and when they shot him enough where it forced him to stop stop his car, they they cut him off, hopped out, and did what they had to do. Next time anybody asked y'all, well, why Mo3 get out the car? This is literally the reason. But anywho, before I end this video, I also wanted to, uh, to touch on another subject. Is regarding that theory that uh, Mo3 left Jossie Banks' house that morning and uh, drove to the gas station. And actually, this is not even a theory. This is fact. TMZ posted it themselves. Let's see. Uh, this is from TMZ. Sources close to the situation tells TMZ Mo3 was leaving a female companion uh, house Wednesday morning and noticed he was being watched. We are told that they followed him in their vehicle from Jossie Banks' home to a gas station. And once Mo3 noticed that uh, they was following him to the gas station, that's when he knew something was up. And he jumped on I-35 in an attempt to actually lose these suspects that was uh, telling him. But of course, the traffic was a little congested. And also, they shot up Mo3's car. How far do you think you're getting on a shot up Honda that also had a ledge flat tire? They had a Camaro fam, it's over. That was just a tough situation for Mo3. He had like a 
3% chance of making it out of that situation alive. As I said in the last video, this all was premeditated. That's the reason you had people on the freeway who got the traffic stopped up. Like they knew this was going to happen right there on that freeway. Mo3 had a very slim chance that day. And again, to uh, give better evidence that this was premeditated, they was trailing Mo3 at the gas station. They could have easily got Mo3 at that gas station, leaving the gas station, leaving Jossie Banks out. But no, they specifically wanted to force him on that freeway and murder him right there. So the audience that was waiting on standby can see. But this gas station thing is tricky. Because if you didn't know, man, Mo3 Ops got a whole verse rapping about a gas station. This and Mo3 rapping about, hey, you better be careful when you leaving that store. Look both ways. Like this what they were saying on the song. Be careful leaving that gas station. Now, if you know what song I'm talking about, that's good for you. But y'all know I'm not about to spill the beans. That's free promotion, man. I ain't about to get these people no free views. But y'all know me, I'm no liar, so you can go find a song for yourself. It's not hard to find. But yeah, it's just like these people tell us everything, man. And in that same song, he telling us about how Mo3 people was hitting up his people, trying to get the 50,000 that he had on Mo3 head. So basically, some of Mo3 people was trying to line up Mo3 for the bag that Mo3 Ops was offering. And there's no surprise, right? I mean, most of Mo3 music, you can hear how he uh, felt he was betrayed by his friends. And also, how he feel like one of his friends might be the one that do him in. And I don't know exactly how many people have, have their hand in the depth of Mo3, but I'm 100% positive. It's not only Kiwan White and that Devin Brown dude. And if you ask me, one of these other people is somebody that was close to Mo3, or at least that was cool with Mo3. Because again, in this song right here, this guy's basically telling us, Mo3 people hit up my people trying to get that bag a long time ago. Boy, I could have been set you up. That's basically what he said on the song. And then when you think about uh, one of Mo3's songs right before he died, uh, Get Back. Heard up, but why my way gave y'all to drop okay, you bet that. But he can't talk to y'all no more, guess what? Ha, how they look whack. That's, that's basically Mo3 saying, I already heard about people around my way trying to get y'all to drop. So Mo3 was aware that somebody around him was moving funny around the time of his death at least. And that's probably why Mo3 was planning on uh, moving to the Bay Area. Because when you got people in uh, Oak Cliff wanting you gone, people from your own hood in North Dallas wanting you gone. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to really show that uh, Mo3 car was shot up. That's one of the biggest questions everybody asks. Why did Mo3 get out of his car? But it's because they shot up his car. And allegedly, they shot out his tire. And when they pulled up in front of him and cut him off, that's it. What more do you do? Besides try to get your gun and stand your ground. So all of that, oh, he ain't about that life. That little short fat dude, that big head, boy, he ain't about nothing. No, no, no. He actually died trying to do what he rap about. The video proves it. He got out of his car to have a shootout with y'all. Now, as far as the gun not being there or he couldn't get to it, that's out of his hand. He did exactly what I would think Mo3 would do in that situation. Hop out of his car and try to have a shootout. Now, I'm not saying that's smart. My opinion, Mo3 was an idiot for that, right? But y'all can't say he didn't die attempting to do the very same thing he raps about. I know y'all wish that dash cam footage didn't exist, but it do, man. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. You can't lie. He didn't just hop out of his car and run away because he was scared. He ran away because he had no option at that point. The gun wasn't there. I mean, use your brain, right? Just like I said earlier in this video. If Mo3 was just flat out scared, he would have just hopped out of the car and started running. Like I told y'all I would have done. But nah, he walked around his car to have a shootout with y'all. That's what happened. Everything else was out of his hand. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. TZL Baby 252. Long live Mo3. I'm gone. Prolific. Hey. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry.
the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street.